hope you all are doing great in today's episode which is episode 8 of this series we will learn how we actually deploy our agents to a service cloud website now we have already created an agent we have already created messaging channel and embedded service deployments as well for that agent we have set up omni channel configurations and a lot of things in the previous episode if you want to go step by step and come to this deployment then please check out the previous episode of creating the agent doing the omni channel configurations creating queues and creating messaging channel which is important for deployment so if you want to uh, deploy your agent you will have to have messaging channel and an embedded service deployment if you have not seen the previous video i'll recommend to see the previous video configure everything which is needed to deploy an agent and then come to this video and deploy it with us right now let me show you where is our agent we'll go to agent force agents whoever is following the series has already created this agent in their uh, development org if you have just come here for the deployment purposes that's also okay this is the agent that we have uh, we have also created a messaging channel in the previous episode which is episode 7 if you want to learn how to create a messaging channel for your agent to be deployed you can check out the episode 7 this is the messaging channel when we create a messaging channel an embedded service deployment will be automatically created for that agent so this was automatically created for our agent now we want to learn how to deploy this agent we are going to deploy this agent to a service cloud website i will also tell you how you can deploy it in any of the external websites that you might have in any of the other systems right so now what are we going to do we are going to create a new website from here click on the new button now for choosing a template, we will choose build your own LWR, which is this one. Let's click on get started. Let's give it a name of uh, agent force agent. Okay. And the URL, let's make it my agent. Okay. And we are going to create this website. Now we'll have to wait for a while and then this website will be created. Once this website will be created, the main role will be played with the embedded service deployment that we have just created in the previous episode for the deployment uh, let this website be built and then we can add our deployment okay now this is the page you will see once you create a website just telling you because this can be the first time you're creating your website right this is the first page you will see now what are we going to do is we are going to click on the builder once you go on the builder, this is basically a website canvas for you. You can do multiple changes which you want in your website and you can also add your agent here, right? Now this is the website, right? Now we are going to add the agent on website's homepage. You can create a particular page, maybe a contact us page or something or chat with us page and Put the agent directly on that particular page we are going to put it on the home page uh, so this is the home page you don't have to add anything particular here because we are just here to deploy our agent right now what we need to do is go to components search for embedded and you will see this this embedded messaging you see you have created this right let's just click on this and drag it here and add it here okay once you add it here you will see the settings in this you will see the embedded service deployment that embedded web deployment that you have created the service url this was auto created we haven't done anything this is the site endpoint url and it is the default visibility you can change the visibility according to your requirement as well okay you just have to drag and drop embedded messaging that's all you have to do in order to deploy your agent. Isn't it easy? Now, let's just publish our website. This is the website URL. Let's copy it so that we can check it once it is published. And it says checking your changes. This could take a while. Now, once this is published, we can go to our website and we can access our agent. But for that, the agent has to be active. Let's just check the agent once. If that is deactivated, it won't work. I'll go to 
my agents. And this agent is active, so this should work. I also received an email in my phone that this is published. Okay, now let's click on the URL that we have created and this will redirect us on the website that we have just published. This is the placeholder because we have not added anything to the website. And this right here, my friend, is our agent that we have just created and deployed to a, a service cloud website. Isn't it easy? Your agent is right there on a service cloud website, published and ready to be taken care of your customer queries. How easy it is to deploy your agent to a service cloud website. Now, let me show you how we can deploy it if it is not a service cloud website in Salesforce. It can be external websites as well, right? You'll have to go to your embedded service deployment, click on the deployment, And if you will scroll down a little, you will see code snippet, right? It says install the embedded code snippet and activate messaging on your website. So you can click on install code snippet. Just like that, you will get the code. Just copy the code, paste it before the body tag in your website. That can be any external website and your agent force agent will be live on that website as well. It is not limited to be live or to be deployed in a website within Salesforce. It can be deployed and embedded in any of the external websites as well. So this is how easy it is to deploy a agent force agent in a community website, in a service cloud website, and also in an external website. You'll just have to copy that and you can paste it in any websites of your choice to let your agent be live and help your customers queries, right? That is it for today's episode. I hope you found this useful. I hope you found it easy to deploy an agent, not just in Salesforce, a community website or service cloud website, but also it is very easy to just copy the snippet code and add it anywhere on your external website's code to get it deployed there as well, right? Now, what will be the next episode? Can you see the agent here? This is the agent, this can do the action, but does it look good? No, I mean the color combination, there's no icon, there's no agent force feel to it, right? Now, in the next episode, we are going to learn how we can actually add branding to it, how we can actually give colors to our agent, how we can actually put life to our agent and make it more attractive for the customers to chat with, right? In the next episode, we learn how to give branding to our agent, how to add colors, how to add background colors, foreground colors and whatnot. So stay tuned for the next episode. I'll see you till then. Bye bye. Take care and keep learning.